Animal Crossing? New Horizons has finally been released for the Nintendo Switch and has quickly become one of the best-selling games for the console, offering endless hours of fun gameplay. At first glance, the brand new deserted island looks bland and overly simplistic, but in actuality is way more intricate than you'd ever realize. There are hundreds of cool items to collect, wacky villagers to meet, and amazing adventures to go on while you explore your surroundings on the island. However, Nintendo intentionally doesn't tell you everything about the game, which leads me right into the topic of today's video. My name is Copycat, and welcome to the Top 15 Secrets in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now before I get this video started, I hope you all subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to stay notified when I upload new videos. Past Animal Crossing games have always let you sit on your decorative toilets, but it's never been more than just a gimmick for a bit of a laugh. However, in New Horizons this all changes if you've eaten fruit to power yourself up, as its effects can actually be reversed if you use the toilet. This is its only practical function and is extremely random, but I really love the and that takes care of that exclamation. One really neat new addition to this Animal Crossing entry are the massive amounts of emotes that allow players to express themselves. These are learned randomly from villagers throughout the game, and there are a grand total of 44 to collect. What's even cooler is that if you use these emotes when communicating with random villagers, they then will emote back at you. It's not a crazy exciting secret, but it is pretty cute. If you cut down a tree in this game with an iron axe, it will leave a stump which most people will remove as it seems to be nothing more than an eyesore at first sight. Although maybe you shouldn't do this, as certain more rare bugs will only appear on tree stumps, so keeping a few around on your home base is a must. If you have Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp for your mobile device, then you can actually link your Nintendo account in with both games to receive a special orders ticket. This is a redeemable code that adds a handful of Pocket Camp theme items like two mini RVs, a campsite sign, and an OK Motors t-shirt. Back in the Pocket Camp game, you'll receive 50 Leaf tickets along with some cool earnable crossover items like Tom Nook's office table. It's very interesting how far Nintendo was willing to push this game. If you purchase the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch Edition, then you'll automatically be given a very special in-game Nintendo Switch, which is a nice virtual replica of your console. This is a nice gift from Nintendo, as if you wanted to buy the same item in the game, it would cost you a whopping 35,960 bells. From time to time when you're shaking a tree, a wasp colony may appear and sting you. This will cause your face to swell up and you'll have to spend an entire day looking disfigured or until you've discovered medicine to cure you. However, there's a much simpler solution to this if you already have a net equipped, then shake a tree which will easily allow you to catch the wasp without getting stung. This is a lot more useful than it seems. Rocks are a very important resource in New Horizons as they give you clay, iron, bells, and at times tiny insects. In this game, you can also break rocks by powering yourself up by eating fruit, then shattering it with your axe or shovel. However, this is something you really don't want to do. This is because you can actually gain 8 materials a day from these rocks that will spawn randomly on your island. The best thing to do to harvest these rocks is to dig two holes behind yourself so you don't get knocked back. Now another reason you don't want to break rocks comes in at number 8. Each day, one random rock will always contain bells instead of the normal resources you'd usually find. The same maximum 8 strikes still apply, meaning you could get an easy 16,400 bells a day. Holy. If you see a glowing spot on the ground like this one, then you can dig it up and gain a thousand bells for free. If you plant anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 bells in the hole and return when it's fully grown, you'll find that you'll have triple your money, making for an amazing investment. If you take a really hard look at your in-game map, then you'll notice there's a small patch of sand that seems inaccessible at first. This is usually on the northern border of your island, and there's actually a really easy way to get there. All you need is a ladder and a keen sense of direction, and when you feel like you're near the beach, then use it to safely descend. There's nothing too special about this spot other than a cool place to decorate and an incredible view. Fishing is a very useful mechanic in the game to make lots of bells if you know what you're doing. A few of these fish are extremely rare and can be sold for up to 15,000 bells. There's a coelacanth that spawns any time of day but usually comes out when it rains. There's a weird looking barrel eye that are only available around 9pm to 11am in the sea. 
The golden trout which can only be found in rivers near cliffsides during spring and fall months, but only appears in the morning and afternoon. And finally the stringfish which can be found only during winter months and is located near clifftop rivers. There's probably several other fish I haven't seen yet so let me know in the comments below what you found. If you've played previous Animal Crossing games, then you might know about this one. Occasionally on clearer nights, there may be a meteor shower in the skies above you. If you use your right analog stick to look up with no items in your hand, you can actually hit the A button to wish upon a shooting star. The day after, walk along your beaches and you should find star fragments. If you talk to Celeste the Owl, she'll give you the recipe to make the magic wand. Oddly enough, this wand doesn't do much as it only allows you to change between 8 preset outfits. Either way, it's a pretty cool item to have. Now, the secret coming in at number 3 has just recently been patched, but you can still perform it if you have a physical copy of the game and you don't update it at all. This is the item duplication glitch, which allowed two players on a single console to make copies of anything they wanted to. First, you need to use the Call Resident feature to spawn in Player 2, then place the item you want to duplicate on a table or stool. Player 2 needs to then grab the table or stool and spin it with the item on top. While this is happening, player 1 needs to grab the item on top, and if done correctly, should pocket one of the items, and the other one should be still spinning on the table. Now, like I said, this just was patched as of making this video, but if you guys know any other way of duplicating items, then please let me know in the comments below. Since Animal Crossing New Horizons bases its in-game time on the Nintendo Switch's internal clock, you can actually change the time and date effectively traveling through time in the game. This allows you to gain more resources, gain new items in the shop, and speed up construction processes. However, there is some downside as if you jump too forward in time, villagers may feel neglected and cockroaches may appear in your home. The biggest upside in using this mechanic is there's actually a quick way to gain 1 million bells. All you have to do is have a sizable amount of money in your ABD bank account at the Nook terminal. Make sure here that you exit and save your game because this will be important for later. Next, you have to set your Nintendo Switch's internal clock way forward in time and then enter the game. When you look in your mailbox, you'll see you got a letter from the bank saying you gained an insane interest of 99,999 bells. Go into the terminal in Tom Nook's house and make sure that the money is in your account. If it is, then save and exit the game. Finally, put your date back to what it was on the original save file and re-enter the game now with way more bells than you had before. You can repeat this process endlessly to finally get that 1 million bells. Before I show you guys my top pick for the best secret in this game, here are some honorable mentions. Usually Timmy and Tommy's turnip prices are randomized every day, and randomized even further if you use the time manipulation mechanic making it impossible to use that to your advantage to gain bells. However, there is one way you can cheat the system by buying and selling turnips if you have a friend to help you out. When your friend's stock market is offering great prices on turnips, have him let you into his island and sell all of them. Next, change your Nintendo Switch's time to the previous Sunday between 5am and 12pm. This is when Daisy Maid turns up on your island and purchase as many turnips as you can off her. All you have to do next is go back to your friend's island where you can make a huge profit which you can repeat over and over as many times as you'd like. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video guys. I really hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please leave a like. Comment below how you've been enjoying Animal Crossing so far because I really love the game. And of course, subscribe to my channel while hitting that bell button. Also, if you haven't yet, please follow my Instagram at CopycatGamer where I upload some cool clips and some items from my collection that you will never see anywhere else. Hope you guys all have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!